And in Kenya, the country's standard gauge railway turns one year in June. Ahead of this milestone, a team of 30 Kenyan railway police officers are set to travel to China, where they will undertake a one-month training on improvement of standards and maintenance for the country's standard gauge railway. The officers are in charge of operationalization of the passenger and cargo services. The training will, amongst others, focus on curbing crime along the line. It will also grant the officers a chance to learn about China China's national railway conditions and its history. Kenya's SGR, which is also a first in the region, was constructed through partnership with China. The Kenya-China partnership is aimed at integrating human resources with economic development. There is a traditional Chinese saying that it's better to see something once than to hear about 100 times, which means seeing is believing. We believe that the bilateral seminar will provide you with an opportunity to know, to know more about the China. You will learn about the China's national conditions, the history of China's railway development, the special lectures such as the railway, the cramps and the railway, the firefighting, and so on. What's more, you will experience the high-speed railway and visit the nature, the beauties and the historical sites in China. We hope you can benefit from this seminar and to try to implant what you learned in your own field when you come back. We made sure that every region is represented and we had to look at the gender issue. We, had, we have male officers and female officers. Um, we had to look at um, the ability, abilities of these officers in terms of um, how good are they uh, in, 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 in relating with their fellow officers so that um, when they go and learn, they should be able to come back and um, uh, have the same knowledge imparted to their fellow officers.